As the race for governor officially begins, a new public opinion poll shows the exact opposite of what we saw at the state GOP convention. <laughs> governor Spencer Cox was booed and bounced by Utah Republican Party delegates, <laughs> losing the state convention nomination to Phil Lyman, who won with 67% of the vote. In a convention that lasted 15 and a half hours on Saturday, delegates forced a number of Republican incumbents into primaries. But a new poll shows when it comes to the governor's race, who delegates want may not be who overall Utah Republican voters want. Noble Predictive Insights' survey finds Governor Cox has 81% support, compared to Lyman, who has only 6%. Even though it showed he got, you know, uh, I guess beat at the convention, but he crushes it in not only the uh, gubernatorial primary, but also you look at his job approval and his net favorability. I mean, they're stellar, uh, especially among his base. So uh, it's, it's almost like an alternate universe uh, when you're looking at uh, the overall electorate and then the convention. It's this pattern that prompted a push for a dual path to the ballot years ago. Candidates can choose the caucus convention system and win delegate support. They can also gather signatures or do both. The Cox-Henderson campaign says the poll shows Utahns want a trusted and respected conservative leading the state. I understand the dynamics of the convention and the, and the primary, and the primary is definitely a heavy lift. He's the incumbent. He's got the name recognition. But Lyman tells me his own campaign polling shows he's rising in support. Whatever we're doing, we're making headway, we're making some traction. Uh, as long as we keep um, doing our campaign and um, people are paying attention, then we're, we're, we're going we're gonna, to uh, have the name recognition and the presence to, to win a primary. Lyman is dealing with another problem right now, questions about his lieutenant governor candidate's residency. Lane Bangeter has lived in Utah before, but recently relocated to Idaho before moving back. The independent advisor overseeing the governor's race says Bangeter does not meet the requirements to be on the ballot. Lyman tells me he's willing to go to court. It's, it's really clear. To me, I read it and it says they have to be a resident for five years. And the, and the Constitution doesn't say immediately preceding the election, yet that's what the elections office wants to say that it says, and then on their own paperwork. Meanwhile, the Democrat in the race announced his lieutenant governor pick. Rebecca Cummings is a founder of the Let Utah Read Coalition, fighting book bans. While we watch Spencer Cox and Phil Lyman battle it out over the next two months over who can be the most extreme, Brian and I are just looking forward to building, to building a broad coalition of Utahns who care more about just good government and common sense solutions the Republican primary will take place in June. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.